Hey guys, it's Nana. Hi. It's miss me, huh? You had no chance to miss me because I was all over you. I was in your heart. I was in your soul. I was in the tips of your titties. You could not get rid of me. Oh, yeah. I mm. gave less fucks than last year. I have been trying to do whatever the heck I felt like was needed to fit in this community of simmers. But you know what? I actually don't like the community that much. So take that, bitch. I'm kind of tired of everything Sims related being so immature. I'm over that. So apologies if you watch my channel and you're thinking, oh my god, the hacker puberty. I just feel like to you, like I'm going through puberty. But I tell you, I'm the same old stupid net. I just curse more, probably. That's all the difference there is, really. <gasps> I dropped my food. All Gucci. I picked it up. Girls are not up to much, actually, this morning. I had a spontaneous that she wanted to do some yoga. I guess she needed some peace of mind and savannah actually needs to get ready soon as a gig today now the other one went really really well and this one is um a different kind of commercial the other one i think was for exercising this one is for a chemical cleaner salty suds for her to get on with this this branch, this, this part of our life. I really want her to do better with the acting and not just with acting, I want her to do better in general. I want, I want her, her to, to discover more about this part of our life. I want her to discover more about acting and being an actress. I want her to, I want her to explore more of the side of her that wants to be a good actress. I'm always focused with her on boyfriends because that's what she's been into the last years of her life. You know, from her 20s to her 30s, she's always been obsessed with boys and there's nothing wrong with that <laughs> took more pleasure into having boyfriends and having cool stuff and and being famous is that a camel toe girl those are so not 2019 we can bring it back into fashion more about stuff she cared more about boyfriends she wanted to be famous she wanted to be liked that's just how she was in her 20s completely opposite of cassie of course who was more shy and introverted and blah 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 now i feel like it's a time for her to get serious she has a boyfriend i think she's looking to settle i don't think she's still in that swingle my jingle dingle kind of stage of life where she she's done blowing bubbles amongst things and she wants to get serious honestly i want her to get serious too because i really want her to get that luxurious life that she dreamed of you know your 20s honestly Let's be real, your 20s are definitely not an era where, or like an age where you know what you want. I don't even think it's supposed to be, shut up, be an age where you know what you want, who you are. I think it's just supposed to be an age where you have fun and explore adulthood. I mean, I'm in my 20s too, can't say much. For her, if she really does want to have that luxurious life and the wealth and the um, acknowledgement and the social, um, I mean, the, the social life that she wants, she really has to start now. I feel like this is the opportunity for her to get big or pretty much go big or go home because I don't think she's gonna have much more chance after this. This is the place to be. And I feel like once you've started to put your name out there, it's really hard to get back up once you've been forgotten. I feel like I see that everywhere in celebrity life where one time someone's really freaking popular and then the next day there's like oh this person is gone and then 10 years later they come back and sure there's still some people that love you but I feel like you missed the 10 year gap of opportunity that you don't have right now back to some of her lines she's improvising just in case there needs to be some romance in this spot you know what like maybe it's a gum cleaner you know be gone thoughts from my mouth <laughs> Cassie is um, learning some acting school as well, which is not what she wants. I don't think she wants to act. She just wants to do music or whatever. It'll work for her, right? And I am so up for more of this. I'm so freaking ready for her to kick these Bell sisters' butts because I'm so tired of people who don't deserve it to be really famous. It's just not okay. Can be lovers. You know? like, why not? Honestly, why not? Anyway, I'm not going to go into this route of being the gay lovers because honestly, I tried that and they just don't fit well. They do fit well, but they don't connect. Their bits don't connect. They're not compatible. Cassie and Savannah are both really into boys, so it didn't really work. Aww. Oh, that's so cute. I really ship them. I, sh I ship uh, Kazana or Sassy. Ooh, I'm excited. I am honestly, you know what I'm more excited for? The day 
comes that savannah has her own limousine i'm ready for this anyway let's get ready so we have uh, we have a couple hours but i don't want to make them wait too long we have to wear makeup our hair our clothes everything else but um first let's just go over here and um let's post a simstagram story <sighs> all right so let's update our status and um yeah just add it to our story and is there anything else we could do bonus i don't know we don't really uh i don't really care Ooh, we're doing good 228k followers okay savannah's feeling really hungry and the worst thing would be wait the worst thing would be to pass out so we're gonna have some chips and salsa something very light because we also won't what we also don't want to have a bloated belly on TV. That would be bad. So I want her to look as bad as, as Gucci as she can. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. She needs to look like Gucci Prada, pretty much. Love for her to keep her exact same look. Last time they just changed her hairstyle, didn't do anything crazy to her hair. But if something does happen to her hair, I think it will be really hard for her to accept because she's just so fixed on her appearance i don't mean it in a negative way i feel like she's just really comfortable in looking good she wants to look good that's what makes her feel good uh, i don't think that's cocky or obsessed about oneself or whatever but it does you know it, it, it is hard for her to accept any other hair color hairstyle okay you can change that hair color but maybe maybe we like it i mean if we do have to change her hairstyle that's something we have to get used to and it's just are you telling- wait, are you telling me- No, what? No, I don't want to look like a wiener. <laughs> I'm a wiener. That's what I get for sucking so much in my lifetime. Oh my god. Anyway, let's get into hair and makeup. I don't- maybe we're not supposed to get in here. Maybe we are. I'm not even sure at this point. Anyway, let's just get into hair and makeup. Let's see what we can make out of this. Wait, shouldn't we first own? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, no. Wait, why are we a hot dog? One second. How are we a hot dog in a flipping chemical cleaner ad? Explain. Ooh. Um, I'm not exactly sure that I like being a hot dog. Why am I a hot dog in the first place? Does this look like a hot uh, Honestly, I, I don't want to be rude or anything, but let's just change your outfit to what it is because I don't think we're supposed to look like a hot dog. Um, there we go. Okay, let's just try that again. Let's get into hair and makeup. Apparently something went wrong the first time. Maybe they tested out some makeup. I'm not sure. Let's just see what we can make of this. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, natural makeup. Ooh. They want a really natural look, I see. Oh no, oh no, here comes the hair. Okay, let's hold her breaths for Savannah. Please keep her hair stopped. Don't change too much. Oh. That's, that's pretty good get into costume no okay you know what i guess we're we're fucked we have guess we gotta look like a hot dog <laughs> guess there's no other choice oh no i don't think this is how she imagined her debut to be it's just laughing or like oh, you're gonna be a hot dog bitch i'm gonna be a hot dog anyway we're three hours to complete so you better put me in something decent bitch i'm not gonna look or walk around looking like a freaking hot dog <gasps> There we go. That looks much better. Okay, where's the director? It's probably the one that's sitting on the chair, right? Because that makes the most sense. Get the show on. She looks actually... Oh my god, she looks good in this. I don't think... Oh my god, why are you looking so pretty? I'm really happy that he kept her hair color. I would have been so mad. Not mad, but I would have been kind of sad for her. I would, be, I would have been kind of sad for her if she had to change her hair color, which I know is going to happen one day, but I know that right now she needs all her confidence that she could possibly need to get to the top. Anyway, so we are ready. Perform, steer, ship, um, steer, risky turn wheel, risky show product. Okay, so let's just get here and start the risky turn wheel. It's going to either turn out really good or really bad. Because I don't think we are. How high is her acting skill exactly? Three. Eh. 
not <laughs> we'll see let's see how this goes we're sure it's better lighting in here but damn she looks good it went well okay let's just do a risky show product and then lastly we have to do some mopping i think i think it should go really well i think she has it all in the pocket they are loving her aren't they let's see everyone's reactions you're not even filming me, bitch. Aww. She's doing so good. Yes, everything is perfect. Oh, you're gonna nail this. You have one hour left. We're gonna nail this. Absolutely nail this. I believe in her. I know she can do it. Compose yourself, girl. Indeed, compose yourself. All her scenes, the crew shutting down, and a footage is being sent to editing. Fame per parent. Fame parent. All right, let's go home. Also, it looks like we got a promotion, which I am really excited about. It's about time. Been promoted to commercial spokesperson. New editions have become available. All right, so currently we don't have any gigs or anything. Um, but let's just go ahead and find an audition straight away because I just want to make sure that I'm jam packed with a lot of things to do. So there is one for hardware, pharmaceuticals, the herbs, and critters. Which one? Okay, this one requires guitar, and we don't really have guitar. But we are good in comedy, so how about we just do comedy too, just to be sure. Wait, this one is making- this one makes a lot, let's get that one. I think we should be able to do that. Do we have comedy level 3? Please tell me. 10, we are maxed. God damn. Looks like Cassie wants to get into the hot tub. She's feeling a little tired. We're gonna just max you out just a little bit because I want to go out tonight and I kind of don't want you to fall asleep on me. Per girl. Girl, we're feeling super good. Okay, so how about we get out into town? I don't think I've been here and if I have been, I totally forgot about it. Must have been not very impressive. <laughs> to be honest. Damn, I haven't been here. How have I not been here? Okay, let's start the gathering first of all. Oh, really? It's raining here? Ugh. Honestly. Honestly, let's just get inside. Um, let's go here together. There's a karaoke machine. There's a pool. Wow. Um, can I just say this looks amazing? And um, you might be like, you might be like wondering, like Nana, uh, <laughs> excuse me, how have you not noticed this, bitch? My computer was old and it didn't work very well. And now that it does, I can actually, you know, notice things like this. Okay. How about we order food? Um, pita and hummus sounds really nice. Pita and hummus. Wow, the studio sent over positive feedback on your performance in a commercial. We're not quite sure how to handle this. Typically, we just send one of our canned excuses for a pet performance and then rotate in another extra. Good job. Just don't go think you need a raise. I think that's exactly what they told her the last time. Would. Why over? No. Okay. Okay, first, first, first of all, I came here because none of you would be here. Then tell me, why? Why are you here? Why are you stealing my spotlights? That's not okay. That's not Gucci. Go away. Thorin, first of all, you look like a thought. Okay, that's what Thorin looks like. It's like a thought. Oh my god, honestly, we wanted to escape this bullshit and now he's here. Like, no, can, is there an upstairs? Tell me there's an upstairs. There's nothing upstairs. Oh no, we, we're doomed. We get comfort. No, surface, excuse me, surface. Let's get a big ass table, the biggest one they have. This one, it's not, well, let's get that. And then we get, just to keep it in the same style, one chair, two, 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 two the fuck, accurate. There we go. Anyway, um, I guess this is not exactly turning out how I want it to be. I want it to be ni a nice girls night. Order a drink. Let's order a drink. Wait, can we like order a drink for the entire group? That would be nice. Order a drink for... How about... Miko, here you go, Cassie. Try to... Wait, what? <gasps> Cassie took a loan. Oh, no. Cassie, I am... Ow, I am curious. Why did Cassie take a loan? Cassie's not the type of person to ask for a loan whatsoever. So why did she take a loan? You know what I really want to do? I want to. First of all, I want to have a gathering with the club, and then why don't we just go swimming? Just be crazy. Let's swim here with the entire club. Why don't we? You know, we have something that won't start until I fall in. Yeah, there's, cause there's nothing weirder than going home butt naked. <laughs> Honestly, Salem has been taking it really well. He's very insecure, and um, I know he finds it hard being without me. 
and I think he's been taking it really really well and I hope that he will be pleasantly surprised when he sees me and you know I do miss him I, uh, it's my first love and my only love and I would have had 20 loves I would still love him knock knock who's oh my god <laughs> I am not even <gasps> Which one of you has... What, what? Why is there a crib in the middle of my living room? What? Um... <laughs> uh, are you trying to tell me something? Are you trying to tell me something? Cause um... Oh my god, poor, poor Betty. Let me give my pen my Betty a hug. Alright, Paolo is here. Paolo is currently staying. This is Savannah's boyfriend. If you're new here, it'd be a hint. I'm not exactly sure why one would purchase a crib. Cause... That's a bit weird. So if you guys could enlighten me in the fact why one of the boys and which boy has bought a crib. I mean the crib kind of matches the interior so I would almost say Salem. But then why would Salem buy a crib when... I don't know. Get to leave us alone which... <laughs> it's the bro code right? It's the bro code for... Go have some... Um, some... some Blend tonight. Let's have a woohoo. We're not gonna try for a baby because we're not ready for that commitment. We already lost a baby, which is very hard on us. To be honest, I feel like we're doing really well with the death of the baby. But I feel like because it was a miscarriage and it wasn't exactly. Um, I mean, she still had to go through it. It was still very horrible, but I think that she pulled through and she dealt with it pretty well because because of their bond. I think their bond really has helped them. And it, maybe one day when they have another baby, it will come back to haunt them. It's really hard to put, it's really hard to correctly put the emotions and the feelings into a let's play with miscarriage. I feel like that's a really personal and a very deep story, but I do want to touch on it like one day. I just don't feel like right now is the perfect time because it's not called, you know, Cassie's life or something like that. It's, you know, get famous. We're not focusing on that right now. But maybe in the future, once we have experienced more of this pack. Honestly. Anyway, Cassie's just catching up on some sleep. Um, Savannah, obviously, is going to come here as well. Because where else is she going to go? Um, she came here for... Oh, no. Oh, you telling me. This girl came here butt naked. <laughs> what? Oh, my... Oh, n Paolo, I'm here. I'm naked. Oh, you want some? You want some for me? Oh, my God. Oh, there he is. I like how Salem is like, um, could you like put on some clothes? Um, I think he's uh, gonna head upstairs and um, leave them alone. Hopefully. That'll be, um, you know. Hey, Paolo, you like me now, baby? Oh, I look baby. good. Oh, I look, do I look good? Oh, no, you like me like that, don't you? Oh, look at me. Look at my pixels. Savannah has learned that Paolo is a personal trainer. Well, I really knew that because it's my boyfriend or my fiance, but whatever. Anyway, let's just woohoo on the spot. Uh, I don't think there's much else where we can woohoo at this point. I don't think. Wait, there's a. Wait, wait, wait. You don't tell me you're gonna woohoo on the bed where Cassie's sleeping. Oh, poor Cassie. No, don't make her go through this. <laughs> she, oh my god, she even changed. Oh no, you don't. You guys. Savannah. Literally came in naked with her best friend and was like you leave the room i need to make some baby love i need to make some baby love with my boyfriend as well i'm gonna use your bed for that this is disturbing in all kinds of ways but it's also that's what i call sisterly love they really really love each other and of course coming back home she can't leave it to fix her yard just a little bit because yeah, after all you know after all it is her yard and she loves her little bees and Oh, my cow plant. I miss my cow plant. He died. Oh, I miss so many things, but I really like this a lot. Honestly, anyway. Oh no, I love Batman Goddess. Okay. Anyway, hey, I'm gonna end this part here. Hope you guys enjoyed, like always. Let me know what the crib stands for and why there's a flipping crib in the middle of the room. <laughs> and I wanna thank you guys so much for watching my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye.